and actually going to so for the small hair ornament small very ordinary hair ornament although it has been lost for quite some time one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept its color would stand out most brilliantly against a head of grayish hair and who do we know that has grayish hair case you will hunt beast and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit we're going to give her the hair ornament what is this I I can't remember not a thing only I feel a yearning something I never felt before What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? <sighs> All right, and then we can use that to give ourselves another gem. And I'm actually going to... So I... One of the things I got from the abandoned workshop is this one third of an umbilical cord. Um, I could probably spend an hour just trying to explain what this is and what it means to the overall story of Bloodborne. Um, but I'm not going to go into that. For now, I'm just going to use it um, with the understanding that it's something that will allow me to... Um, basically access a, a hidden boss at the end of the game that normally you wouldn't have access to. So I can't level that up yet. I still need one more. Can repair it though. And neither of those are really better. So... Might as well put the blood gem on my blunderbuss. And so you'll notice in the top right corner um, that little eye symbol with a 16 next to it, that is my insight. I actually want to keep that relatively low um, because that is going to allow me to uh, make better use of the beast blood pellets, um, which will allow me to do way more damage than I normally would be able to. So I'm gonna pretty much spend all of my insight on those right, on the uh, fire paper right now. And go ahead and do the same with my echoes. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? I'm really a fan of this set, personally. Gascoigne set. Okay. So, um... We're gonna actually go back to... The Abandoned Workshop and finish making our way down that big uh, silo. Hey, AB, how's it going? Um, fair warning for you, dude. Uh, there will be some stuff in this that you probably haven't seen, so if you're worried about spoilers, just giving you a fair warning. Okay.
All right. Okay, so you probably heard that. It sounds like a growl. That is going to be... This guy down there. Thanks, AB. Catch you later. Alright. So... I think he might have left Danny because he doesn't want spoilers. And of course this dude shoots fire. So you know what? You want to play with fire? Fire is particularly strong against beasts, as you can see. Okay, so... This is another area where I really don't want to fuck around in too much. God damn crows. Particularly because of the sack man over there. Those sack men, at least right now, will seriously fuck my shit up. Like, not even remotely joking. So I am just going to avoid them as best I can. This thing here also isn't exactly pleasant to fight. And is also tough as hell. You know, without normally playing this game with the headphones on, I don't always hear what they uh, sound like. And, um, yeah, they sound horrible. So, I'm just gonna say, see you later to that dude. Ugh, even just the walking of them. This will allow me to get to a shortcut. <sighs> Back to the chapel. Before that, I'm going to grab some stuff up here. And then I'm going to start focusing on getting the materials I need to upgrade my weapon. Messenger hat. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. See ya. Okay. 
gotta remember where all of this stuff that I'm trying to get is. Okay. We're definitely just gonna be running running through this area for the most part. Cause stuff is starting to hit really hard. And part of my issue with that was also um there's a much smarter way that I could handle those guys um, instead of like basically trying to fight a bunch of them at once. So um, I might take them all out, but I mean, it's really not necessary. am I gonna go um so let me get my echoes back and get a few other things in this area. Actually, I think I'll go to Hamwick Charnel Lane first. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. That guy's got my echoes. I mean, he's just off like crazy right now. There we go. Alright. Actually... Really want to unlock this. Ooh, those guys hit hard. Thank you. All right. So, not gonna mess with you, and open up this shortcut as well. There we go. Okay. So that's actually going to allow me to um, continue Eileen's quest, which I'm gonna try to get my weapon a little bit stronger before I do that. But I definitely intend to see her quest all the way through.
Okay. <sighs> Where do I want to go? Do I want to go to the jail? Don't think I want to go to the jail yet. I can get the drop on this guy. See him and his buddy up there, kind of up into the left a little bit? They're waiting for me if I come the other way. So of course. Wow. Uh, I might be taking them on a little bit too early, but we'll see. Yep, a little bit too early for that. Alright, so I'll come back there in a little bit. So I'm going to go to um, Hemwick first then. Allow me to get my... Um, actually... I think I will go to the jail first and, and take on the, the Dark Beast. Which, I mean, the names in this game are just phenomenal. So, to get to the Hypogean Jail, I need to let this big fucker kill me. Which, as you can see, it's not very hard for him. <laughs> this next area is really great reveal for the first time you're playing. It's also one of the only, like one of two places in the whole game that has ambient music instead of just silence when you're exploring the area. Most other places you only get music during the boss fights. <laughs> 